This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I have a theory that a lot of people don't even actually really like what they're buying, right? I think most people don't even really like what the actual thing is, but rather the idea of it, the idea of the purchase. Okay, these, these two may seem to be the same, but they are two completely different dimensions of thought. Firstly, the idea of a, of a piece is all those random hypothetical fits and scenarios that you think about when you're bargaining with yourself to bite. All those what ifs and perfectly constructed delusions of what you think you look like and feel like if you had owned this piece. I remember I went through a phase where I was just, this, hear me out. I was, I went through a phase where I was listening to Yeezus a lot in the gym. And then that song Blood on the Leaves came on. And I don't know if you guys remember the drop of that song, but if you don't, it sounds like this. You could have been some Anyways, yeah, it's so crazy. It's so fat. It's so visceral, you know? And also for all the audio nerds out there, this is the custom EQ I have on Spotify, which is already kind of nuts. But then also this is the custom EQ I have for my Sony XM5s. So it's double nuts. So yeah, that first gate away gives me whiplash every time. And then I got to thinking about it. I'm like, man, that just sounds so crazy on a live sound system. And then I'm like, damn, I'm so sad. I never got to see the Yeezus tour live because I would have loved to hear that song. So then I got to watching clips of the Yeezus tour, which are crazy, still have FOMO, but then I remembered the Kanye fits from that era were insane. Like, look at, like, look at this shit, you know? Like, this was crazy. Like, the aura here, the aura here is, like, palpable. And obviously, the centerpiece of these outfits being the championship run of Archive Margiela masks that he was wearing at all the stops on his tour. And then, like, the potent mix of just pure awe and then also nostalgia just gave me this unnecessary itch to go and buy one for myself. And then so, I did what any normal unemployed fashion enjoyer would do, and I jumped on my boucle love sack with a fully charged iPhone 14 Pro Max with gigabit internet, and I just scrolled, man, and I kept scrolling until... Now I have this red Margiela style mask that I obviously never wear because, oh man, because I totally forgot about the, the minor detail that I'm uh, not Kanye West. And so now it's kind of pointless because I can't really wear it unless I style it like this or something. And where am I wearing this? What am I doing? Well, this fit doesn't even really make any sense unless I'm doing one of those these those damn TikTok outfit trick shot montage edits, which obviously I'm not gonna do. So let's get on with it. Like, and that's it? Like, and then I'm just I can't even see I can't see shit. I can't see anything out of this fucking mask, man. Anyways, you gotta stop doing that, man. Why do you do that? You are just in time. The Raised Online Magazine crewnecks in Ink and Ramune are out now at Raised.online. Take part in the debut release of the next chapter of Raised Online. Now, everything you need is in the description. For everyone, Raised Online. The idea of this was so full of emotion. The references were there. The intent was there. The idea of this was there, clearly. And then obviously, when it came down to it, the separation between the idea and the reality was just too sparse. And now I like never wear that thing. Overall, I will admit this was a very poor decision on my part. Okay, now the difference, right? So the reality of a piece, the reality of a piece is how things would actually play out. This is determined by your current lifestyle, the state of your wardrobe, and most importantly, how big your balls are. Lifestyle comes into play because it determines when are you gonna have the proper opportunity to wear something? Like, for example, as a student with a part-time job. Yeah, I'm looking at you. 
When are you gonna have the opportunity to wear this? Why would you ever need to wear this? When are you gonna wear that though? I actually, or another very big popular part of my demographic, the average nine to fiver in a less fashionable city. Very, that sucks, man. But like, when are you gonna wear this though? I'm not stopping you. But when are you gonna wear this actually though? See, lifestyle comes first as it sets up the opportunity. What situation that happens in your life would you actually feel like you're gonna wear something like this? Okay, now next, the state of your wardrobe. This sets up possibility, like in your wardrobe with this in mind. What are the actual style possibilities that could come? I, I feel like I don't need to explain this one. This is pretty obvious. Like, how does this piece actually work in your wardrobe? Does your wardrobe actually fuck with this piece? But actually, but actually think about that though. Like stop bargaining with yourself. You're very vulnerable right now. Like what are, does this actually even work with your wardrobe though? Like, are you, you sure about that? that? You are you sure, sure about that? that? Are you, you sure, sure about that? that? And lastly, the third leg of this sign of the cross is balls. And for balls, this sets up capability. Are you capable of wearing this? Are you actually gonna do it? Do you have the balls? Lifestyle sets up opportunity, uh, wardrobe sets up possibility, and balls sets up capability. So anyways, yeah, when you're thinking of buying something or you wanna buy something, just run through this sign of the cross real quick before you start getting any ideas. Stop with those goddamn ideas, dude. Just figure out your reality before you start dreaming. Remember, you're not, you're not Kanye, you're not wisdom, you're not Rick Owens. You're not Saad ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Ali Ismail Shik Shak Shok Balla Thnen Shawarma Wahad Bipsi is Yada Batata Bidun Salata Maganin it's Bipsi Berde Bis Bidun Thelj Walak Hamude Itfil Pistation Asama Akisirha Arasak Hassa Uruh Ingela Jahas Halakla No Mohammed Abdullah. You're you, okay? So stop trying to be Saad ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Ali Ismail Shik Shak Shok Balla Thnen Shawarma Wahad Bipsi Is Yada Batata Bidun Salata Maganin it's Bipsi Berde Bis Bidun Thelj Walak Hamude Itfil Pistation Ahsama Akisirha Arasak Hassa Uruh Ingela Jahas Halak Lan Noam Mohammed Abdullah Because that's not you man and you know that Okay so how much are you actually really thinking about your purchases? Like really just sit down, think, of re but really though, other than the obvious, very popular, oh wow, this is sick. What does that even mean? What do you mean this is sick? What's sick? Have you, have you even ever critically thought of what sick means? What the f are you talking about? And if so, does that even benefit your style though? Does your definition of this is sick, does this even actually benefit your style? Because I think things like this are sick. This is cool, but I would never wear this, which I know we are all guilty of. I do this sometimes too. And when I do, I'm like, Man, why did I do that? We've probably done something like that before. It's natural. Obviously, I'm using the mask as an extreme example, but just think about those random ambitious shoes or jackets that just you never wear and just collect dust. Just the things that you've had an idea for, but no experience with. No plans, nothing. Just, just, just praying on a good dice roll. We gotta stop doing that, guys. We have to stop doing that. Will this actually provide any value to you outside of this random vulnerable moment of weakness that you're in right now looking at the SNCL markdown? We know that you're vulnerable. You are vulnerable. Recognize that. Don't get taken advantage of. Sure, you might think the universe is talking to you because the seller accepted your offer, but have you ever accepted who you really are yet? Have you done that yet? Have you accepted yourself yet though? So just be more critical about your decisions and purchases. Does this actually work with my current rotation? Does it actually though? So Christian, how do I fucking use any of that? Why do you do this to me? Y uh, useful rule time, memorable rule time, made up rule time. We all know the 80-20 rule, right? Where 80% of the results comes from 20% of the effort. This works in business. A lot of the times you will see 80% of the profit come from 20% of the product. You'll see this a lot in sports too. 80% of the success comes from 20% of the roster. And in fashion, this works because 80% of your outfits, 80% of your outfits will 
only consist of about 20% of your wardrobe. Like, think about that though. Like, think about that one pair of pants that you wear with everything, right? And then boom, you have a favorite pair of shoes that goes with your favorite pair of pants and then bam that's two-thirds of your outfit just decided automatically most of the time and that's just like most of your fits already just just think about it you'll be surprised it's actually kind of fucked up because we have all these clothes and we just don't wear anything it's like when andy has those motherfuckers up there on the shelf that he doesn't fuck with and he's like <laughs> and he's only playing with woody and buzz and then everyone else is just like ah we'll see if you fit the scenario man it seems f***ed up when you're a toy, but I f***ing get it. Because if I was Andy and I had my favorites, what the f*** am I doing playing with a goddamn penguin that can't even f***ing talk? You know what I mean? That's what your favorite pair of pants and shoes is like. That's your Buzz and Woody. And then you got Wheezy, that mother f***er. You got Wheezy at the top. Wheezy is the bad decisions you've made, pretty much. Remember that dream where Woody's falling, like, I don't want to f talk to you anymore, or what? <sighs> I bring up this rule, right? Because I want you to dial in that 20%. To me, that 20% of stuff that I wear all the time is, that's what I actually consider my style. I think that's the core of my wardrobe. The other 80% is very situational, like it's a part of my wardrobe, but I don't really consider that to be where my style is, especially if I'm not wearing it most of the time. Like. Would you really consider the aliens to be Andy, one of Andy's favorite toys when most of the time it's Buzz and Woody? What I'm saying is when you're buying clothes, right, it would be completely detrimental for you to be looking at a piece and to go, man, this would look really cool with that jacket that I never wear. Maybe it might work. Do you see how stupid that sounds, right? That's you. That is what you sound like when you're like, whoa, these shoes would look really cool with those pants that I never wear. Do you see how stupid that's like? Imagine if Andy's buying new toys and he's like, yo, the aliens would really fuck with this toy. I fucking hate that this makes so much. Does this make sense? Because this makes complete sense. Why the fuck would Andy buy new toys going like, yo, I can't play with this toy with Buzz and Woody, but the f ham would, would really fuck with this. Dude, this makes sense. This, okay, lock in. This makes complete sense. Anyway, what I'm saying is find your f buzz and just figure out what your buzz and woody is. Your 20% rule, your 80 20 rule, the buzz and woody rule. Find your buzz and woody. I just completely derailed this entire video. I don't regret it though, because this makes complete sense. Anyways, it's just less to think about. Like, this is my current rotation. I only really think about this core situation when I'm buying new pieces right now. If you could put 20% of the effort and get 80% of the results, wouldn't you just do that all the time? That is what I'm saying. And that's why I will always vouch for the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, where you only really need to put 20% of your effort to make about more than 80% of the website, if I'm being completely honest. It's personally what I used to make my first ever website, and I've been using it for years now. They got over 100 award-winning designer templates so that you can get started with whatever you want to be making right now. And now they have this website building system called Fluid Engine, which essentially puts your entire website on a grid, and then you can just move every technical piece where you need to be pretty much what it I don't understand how much easier it can, I don't think it can get any easier than that genuinely I just don't like this is how easy do you want it it's so easy right like this is as easy as it's ever gonna get I run an online clothing store I know how annoying it could be to set up e-commerce but on Squarespace it takes like 10 minutes to set up everything and bam it's all integrated on the website you don't even gotta install anything sometimes I got everything from checkout to shipping done in like minutes and you too can have it as easy as I have it where you can put 20% and get everything at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. You'll get a free trial of the website builder. And then when you want to purchase your first website or domain, you will get 10% off. It's that easy, man. Squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You don't need to work hard. I'm so sorry for absolutely derailing the video with the Buzz and Woody thing. Actually, I'm not going to apologize for that. That made so much sense. The Buzz and Woody thing makes sense if you think about it. Because you're Andy, right?